Hey collectors, it's chatting with you and I'm back with another video. Okay, so yeah. It's gonna be because I had to restart this video for a lot of different reasons. Um because I like it's like I just kept seeing that I was not prepared to read yet. So what I'm taking from that right now is that you may be feeling like like something something is taking place something took place in your life and you may have felt like you missed an opportunity but spirit is wanting me to tell you that you were not prepared yet and that's why um you know i'm in that ship has sailed so it's like something left you but something is coming back around okay and this time you're going to be ready for it um but yeah the message that i was trying to deliver before i couldn't get it out is that so, oh, that may be significant why I couldn't say it. But however, my channel, my reasons mostly speaking on, you know, positivity and, you know, us just being better as a collective as a whole. And I know some people be into that karmic shit. Like, you know, if karmic energy pop up, then we're going to speak on it. But no we gonna shine light on people dark side over here but at the same time we're wanting to elevate the more you talk about that karmic shit and just feed into that negative energy the more that shit just fester into your life nobody want to deal with karmics forever i know i don't i don't want to deal with a karmic forever i don't want to you know you know there's always karmic energies around but keep that shit to a minimum <laughs> over here so like I said, this this channel is not for everybody, and I feel, and that's why I never promoted this channel. I feel like those who gravitate to this channel, they're here for a reason. And y'all, y'all can y'all can see the smile behind my face. I'm appreciative of all y'all who genuinely come on my channel and fuck with me, and y'all just feel the vibes and y'all know the energy. Okay, so let's just get into the message. I just had to say that. You know, things gonna work out. You don't gotta fight nothing, try to control nothing, stress nothing. Like, when it comes to anything, when it comes to anything, I feel like you got so much protection around you. Like, anything you love, care about, cherish, it's protected. It's protected. I'm gonna, people like, try to send energies your way um not only to you but to you know things and people that you love want you to lose things um whatever it may have been but it's like everything around you is protected anything you touch is protected period point blank yo let me tell you something let me tell you something this is how true it is the first card out thank you thank you thank you Full, full, full. Everything you touch is protected. You are protected. Say with I am protected. Like, oh man, I feel like this is gonna be a powerful read. This is gonna be a powerful read, and it's gonna be short and simple, is what I'm hearing. But it's gonna be very powerful. Whoever you are, you're very protected. Very. And all your dreams are about to come true. All your dreams are about to come true. Somebody wants you to feel like you live in a fairy tale land. Let me tell you. Somebody wants you to feel like you live in a fairy tale land. Like you cannot have. Like you will not have. Hell no. They hate me because they ain't me. Oh, she living in a fairy tale. Oh, hey, oh, yeah. Y'all. Y'all. I'm telling you, I don't need these cards, but I love, love, love when I, because I know what I'm feeling. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, because I'm, I'm telling y'all, y'all, you're going to have whatever, whatever your heart desires. Trust and believe that. People don't want you to believe that. Whoever you are, you could have, I'm getting like, you're somebody who always had a broad imagination. I'm so emotional. Because I feel this shit so fucking strong. I feel this shit so strong. And it's crazy because the other day. Matter of fact, this was yesterday. 
I seen a read, I mean, not a read, excuse me. I seen a, a post and it was like, oh, why is so many kids um, um, being labeled um, autistic or like have an ADHD and stuff like that? And then, you know, people were saying like, oh, you know, everybody had a different opinion. Um, people were saying that um, it was like the heavy metals, things people were eating, um, but they, um, then, but what I'm getting is that a lot of these people, you know, because I feel like it was a lot of adults who were labeled a certain way, or, you know, you could have even been labeled, um, something because of your gifts. That's what it is, y'all. I'm being guided to not say anymore, but that's what it is. I don't know. Mm. What I said. Spiritual initiation. Somebody is about to be living their dream life. I'm hearing that song. Hey now, hey now. This is the dream I made of. Y'all know, um, what's that? Oh. How can I not the Lizzie McGuire movie? I'm like, wait a minute, how can I not freaking remember? But y'all know, see, this is bringing back to childhood. Somebody is like, and like I said, you've always had this big dream, like to do this, to do that, from a child, from a child. And when I tell y'all, for some of y'all, certain things are taking place in your life that you may have said as a child or could have taken place in place in the past i'm also getting that somebody could have had um something wrong with their speech or something like that but it was always because you spoke the truth somebody always like somebody could have stuttered or something because but it's because you always spoke the truth so somebody always wanted you know like when you you know like i feel like when you speak a certain type of way people sometimes people don't take you serious or they don't um acknowledge what it is that you're saying because maybe the way you articulate your words or something like that but it was always um some sort of delay due to your gifts due to you due to you know, not wanting you to speak your truth. Yeah. It's like, take things slow. Slow and steady wins the race. Yeah. Yeah, slow and steady wins the race. Release the need to control situations. And 666, divinely balanced. Whoever you are, you have a whole lot of angels around you and protecting you. You have so many angels around you. That's what spirit is going you to release that need to control because it's like things are going to work out in your favor. They always do. Things are going to work out in your favor. You're going to, oh man, you're going to have everything you need. I'm telling you. Wow, let's see. Let's see what else come out for the collective. I feel like you've been planting a whole lot of seeds. And get ready to watch them grow. Please, just get ready to watch everything manifest in your life. You've been putting in the work. I'm also here with like, don't leave your garden unattended. Don't allow people to come in and just take. Take that way it resonates. Do not allow people to just come in and take. For real. Because what you're about to what you're about to manifest in your life, oh yeah, people gonna want a piece of it. They're gonna want some. Mm -mm.
I was already trying to find what else is. Yeah, ten of wands. Ten of wands. I'm trying to tell you. See, but, but the thing is, look what's at the bottom of the deck. See, you 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 gonna carry these burdens with no problem. Because you already know where you going. She know what's up at the at the end of that mountain. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's what I'm saying. People want you to feel like it's like you only you know your end goal. How you gonna tell somebody like not to believe or not to have faith? Because this is what I'm getting. Somebody don't want you to believe or have faith that things are possible. And they are. They are. Whatever type of burdens you're being faced with, it's uh, oh it's okay. Know that you're not gonna somebody's wanting you to wanting your burdens, wanting it to be to the point where like you give up on yourself type shit. But that would never happen. You have too much protection around you. You have too much protection around you. Y'all know, damn, I'm hearing Keisha Cole and um, Tupac. That song she made with Tupac, the remake, I can't even get it. But it's Tupac speaking at the end. He said, but when you rush, and man, basically he's saying like, when you rush something, like, it don't turn out how you really wanted it to turn out. But when you let things happen and really take your time with something, that's for anything. That's what people fail to realize. That's for anything. When you rush something, it's not going to turn out how you expected it to turn out. Versus if you really took your time and did whatever it was that you did. Say you doing a project and, and you have an hour to do it, but you wait till the last minute or now you're doing something in 20 minutes or 30 minutes. You think you're going to have the same outcome as if you, if you would have had that whole hour? Like, no, take your time. You have... You have nothing but time. Take your time and what it is that you're going to do. Don't rush. Somebody wants you to feel like you're losing out on something. You're not losing out on a motherfucking thing. Okay, you got this emperor card out here. Why is the emperor out here? You got the two mistakes and the emperor. The ten of wands and the emperor. What's going on? This could be an emperor who's feeling these burdens. Okay. That justice card came fell out in the reverse. So I'm gonna put it out there. I don't usually take reverses, but I feel like something was. Why is this out here? I'm because I see the death card here. So something that was done unjustifiably to you could be, you know, an ending could be coming to that. Why is this um, justice in the reverse doing a backwards? That's the page of cups. Okay. I mean, no, that was the devil I had to. Yeah, that's the devil at the bottom of the deck. Okay, the death. And then there's something that somebody did to you. This dark ass energy, that unjustifiable bullshit. Could be family, because I see the Ten of Cups, the Hierophant, and the um, death card out here. So, <clears throat> I'm also getting that it could be a death in your family coming, but this is for something that somebody did to you. I'm going to just keep it all the way above. I'm not going to sugarcoat nothing. This is for something that somebody did to you. Spirit is stepping in. I'm hearing divine intervention because somebody did some... Un with this, just this, the way it flew out in the reverse, I don't know if it was this empress family or you could be this emperor coming up this emperor energy because i feel like yeah you even if you are feminine whoever you are the way you carrying this, these burdens you're in your masculine energy right now not to say you don't know how to balance it out but at this time ain't no feminine shit you may even be single so it's like yeah you know how to be feminine or nurturing um stepping into that empress energy when it comes to your kids and you know yourself and loving on yourself but right now you're in this emperor energy i'm gonna just keep it all the way above you're doing it alone you know what I'm saying? It's you. And this is why you're showing up this emperor. You could be a single mom. 
you know, taking care of your family on your own, your kids on your own, your everything on your own right now. And this is why you coming out this ten of, ten of wands emperor. But somebody did some unjustifiable shit to you. People who you thought had love for you. Or it could have been somebody, a particular person, you know, that you were in a relationship, take it where, where it resonates, whatever it may have been. But with this Ten of Cups, I'm picking up family. But with this Hierophant and this um, um Death card out here, yeah, that's coming to an end. Spirit saying it's over with. Your burdens and all that shit, that shit is about to be over with. So I'm like, wait a minute. Once I see that justice in the reverse, yeah, you're healing. You're healing. Full want, I mean, full swords. You're healing. And for me to say full want, somebody's stability is really about to change. Somebody's stability is about to change. Got the father coin. I'm hearing you're the mother and the father. You're about to be put in this position. But see, what you're doing that, and that's crazy as me saying that, you got the ace of baskets coming out here. So I know that this is um, opportunity. It could be in love. You know, but I feel like you're going to have... Yeah, because that water represents like emotion. A lot of good, though. A new beginning. Something good pour into you. It could be a person. It could be this father of coin. I can't make it up. And then I cut the deck on the love. And somebody is coming in to change somebody's whole life. Like somebody's whole life. I'm hearing that Kaylani song. Baby, let me change your life. I'm going to see that you can be anything you want. Baby, I can make you right. Yeah, I'm telling you, three of coins. What does this talk about? Somebody is like this. I'm here on a helping hand, collaboration. Because somebody is seeing you go through this ten of wands, but it's like whoever you are, you carry this shit so well. It's almost like. I wouldn't say they want to see just how far you could go, but it's like somebody, somebody is wanting to intervene. They don't even know how. It's almost like you're so fucking, like, it's like this person is almost like, I don't want to make this person feel belittled. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want to, but it's angelic help. Y'all, something is coming through. I, I can't, let's see. What, is, what was that? Look, the card that flew all the way over here. Y'all saw it. Yo. Four coins in the reverse. And y'all see the four coins. Wow. Then you got the ten of coins. The four coins speaks of like, you know, not making or having any type of money. Like, it's just like, you, you, you. You're, you're, you're living. You know what I'm saying? You're getting by. <laughs> but... Whoever you are, you carry these burdens up. Somebody is going to come in with this three and seven. I mean, three and four. That's the seven. Somebody is going to invest. But whoever you are, you put in this work. You put in this work. Okay, you got six of baskets, eight of baskets, five of baskets. Yeah, I'm telling you, somebody from your past is it. Because with that ace of baskets, you already got something new coming in. So somebody is sad, hurt, because you walked away from a situation. Yeah. Somebody is sad and hurt, but yeah, you're going to end up, look. Now you got the mother of coin coming out with the chariot. Magician. I'm telling you, somebody, whatever. Ooh. And then for that devil to come back out behind this magician, somebody is doing nonstop magic. But it's like you're too protected. That's why that first card was out here. You're too protected. And the shit is, these people are fucking stuck. Your ancestors got these people by their balls. They not <laughs> they not going nowhere. They ain't doing shit when it comes to you. But I'm about to end this reading because I know my phone soon died. Let me just get it a last message. Like I said, we speak on um good shit over here.
you got good coming in, period, point blank. And you got too much protection around you. And motherfuckers who want to stop something, they got judgment on their ass. They got to always have judgment on their ass. And that's why they that's why they hate you so much. Let's get a final message for the collective season. Thank you. Look, I cannot make it up. Thank you, spirit. Envy, imagination, regret, fear. When I tell you, people envy your, from jump, people always envy your imagination. The fact that whoever you are, you're a fucking powerful manifester, period, point blank, period, point blank. And when I tell y'all them, everything that you've been manifesting is about to come through for you, baby, people going to regret, this, regret not fucking with you. They going to regret a whole lot of 